I'm not one who says this is perfect legislation. But what I will not be part of is an effort to repeal something that is working for a lot of people, that has saved a lot of lives, has prevented people from dying in Pennsylvania and across America. And that is an understatement. That is an understatement, not an overstatement. So I'm going to fight like hell uh, against anyone who's trying to appeal, uh, repeal this law. What they could have said was, if I'm a Republican, they could have said, look, our, our, our candidate won for president. We got control of Congress, both houses. So they have total control right now. They could have walked in the door and said, well, we had this debate, so let's, uh, let's sit down and figure out what, what areas we can agree to change. So we make sure no one loses their health care that has it now, but also make some changes. But we'll give ourselves a deadline. And if, we, if the negotiations don't yield any changes, we'll vote on repeal a year from now, or 18 months from now. Now, that would have been a reasonable way to approach this. Then we'd be having conversations. But when you walk in the door and say, I want to, I want to tear this out by the roots, and let's have a discussion, my answer is no. No. Uh, and here they are on the, you know, on the, the threshold of repealing it and saying they're going to replace it, and there's no replacement. They're not serious. That is not a serious uh, commitment to, to, uh, to health care. If they were serious, they would have had a replacement plan years ago, but certainly a year ago, or at least maybe a couple of months ago when the election was over, but they don't have a replacement plan. So can we really take them at their word? It's it is not easy just like reading in the news and the media about what the Republicans want to do to so many millions of Americans. 20 million Americans are now benefiting from the ACA. And they want to take that away from me and my fellow Americans. It's like, what am I going to do? My medical costs are probably, you know, it's probably north of at least $100,000 at this point. And who knows by the time, hopefully by the time, you know, once, once I um, finally, you know, I, declared cancer free within five years, you know, what, what the total cost will be. I don't know. But I certainly can't afford that out of pocket. 